Welcome to another Shelf Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and today we are checking out the Suehito Serax uh, Stone 320 grit. And this uh, stone is a brick size stone, so it's a heavy, honking big stone. It is 205 millimeter by 73 millimeter by 50 millimeter, so it's basically two inches thick. And uh, this is their super high grade series, their highest end uh, lineup. And uh, box has the info on it, uh, cooking stone, big size. Yes, it is. So uh, this is the 320 grit, which is a kind of a medium coarse stone. And um, it does come uh, with a tight fitting rubber uh, base that you can just set the stone directly on your surface and it's got a pretty good grip to it so This is a tall enough stone that you could put it by itself without any kind of holder and still have plenty of clearance At least until you you know lose some height on it. So um, I'm not an expert sharpener, but I've been using a variety of stones uh, Mark did send over the Shapton glass 320 and I also own the Shapton Pro 320 which I've used quite a bit so did some basic sharpening on this and uh, Didn't do any thinning or anything like that, but characteristics that I've seen of this stone. It's it's uh, a fairly muddy stone It cuts pretty quickly. I'd say not quite as quickly as the Shapton glass But had a little smoother feel than the Shapton glass as well and probably just a touch Smoother feel than the Shapton Pro though. They're pretty close um it's fairly hard, but it also creates a fair amount of mud. So this might be good for doing some thinning or something where you need to follow a little bit of a contour. Um, it's definitely not in the same category of hardness and no mud like the uh, Shapton Glass 320, which generates no mud and is very hard stone, so more precise stone. So, But it did sharpen, I thought, pretty quickly. I thought it had a nice feedback and feel to it and uh, got the job done quickly. It's very tall, so you get a lot of use out of it, so it's a good value. And uh, it takes a bit of a soak. These are not full-time soakers because of the material that they're made with in the binder, but um, uh, being a 320 and being a little taller, it you know takes a little bit of a soak. I found maybe five, six minutes under a slow stream of running water for me did it and it, it once it's saturated it tends to stay saturated pretty well and as long as you keep the top saturate, saturated didn't really load up for me much at all so uh, I really enjoyed using the stone again I haven't had a lot of time on it but compared to the other two 320s that I've played with um, it's a nice stone this would be a great follow-up to maybe um, an Atoma 400 if you're going to set bevels with a 400 and then you want to uh, you know, clear, clean up that scratch pattern, and you could follow the Atoma 140 if you wanted to, It'd take a little bit more work, but you could do that. But this would make a nice, as I said, thinning stone as well to get some work done. So, uh, fast cutting, nice feedback, fairly smooth feel for a 320 grit. So if you're not wanting to do a ton of metal removal really, really quickly with something like a 150 or a 220, this might be a nice option for you. So here you have a true brick-sized stone, the Suihiro Serax. Uh, 320 grit water stone. 